Welcome guys to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you in SimCity Build It an easy trick that you guys need to know. It is the best specialization in the entire game. The best in the entire game. Now first, let's go to specializations. Uh, the best category is going to be gambling, and I'm going to show you in a second why. So let's go to gambling. If you don't have this, you unlock it at level 25. So once you access this at level 25 you'll be able to get these benefits so these are all the uh, gambling uh specializations just in case you guys don't know uh these are the statistics and all of them let's just go through these uh, snake eyes casino majong call and there's the regional stuff there okay so this is why gambling is the best specializations i found this trick over the weekend and i really want to share it with you all because you guys need to be doing this if you want to boost your population instantly and now i'm going to be doing this with my city uh and hopefully the results will prove um you know i'm going to show you what you got to do so let's take something like the luxurious casino tower it's a 16 by 16 area 60 percent boost uh and it only costs 12 keys 12 keys now, that is cheap, but to give you guys a comparison, let's go to a landmark. And then you have the Statue of Liberty, which is 14 by 16, a little smaller, but it's also a 60% boost. And that's going to cost 30 keys. That's almost three times as much. So the price is way cheaper for the same amount of boost, even better amount of boost. And it's way cheaper. That's insane. Because it's way cheaper than getting the Statue of Liberty is just to get the luxurious casino tower. Now, obviously, there's differences of what you want in your city aesthetically, um, but I'm saying if you're going for statistics, if you want to boost your population, you look at these specializations, the gambling specializations, these are going to be the best to boost your population. Uh, and one other point that I want to point out, guys, is that one reason why these are so good is because one statistic that SimCity Build It is not going to tell you and this is a very important statistic, and because they don't tell you, some people may not be aware of this statistic. You see something like the Luxurious Casino, it says the area that it will boost, it says the boost itself, and it says the epic points it will give, and then it will give, say, the price, right? But what it doesn't say is how big the actual specialization is in reality. And as you can see, the casinos are very small, whereas something like the Statue of Liberty is very big. And now my example is, is that you'll have more space to put more gambling specializations because they're so small with such a big boost. The, this trick, if you want to instantly boost your population, just buy those casinos. You know, casinos are the trick casinos are the way to boost your population instantly in SimCity Build It if you want to go the specialization route. So I'm going to show you guys. Let me just delete a home here. As we can see, a residential building, it's a very small area, right? It's a very small area, uh, but we have a lot of them. It's mainly what our city is. Now, if we go to gambling, I'm going to actually buy this right now. Luxurious Casino Tower. It's going to fit in there. And look at this. A 28,000 boost for that small. For that small, it's going to give me a 28,000 boost. The casino. And look at the small area. You have space. You can line your street. If you, if you can afford it, obviously, you can save up for this. Uh, but you can line your street with multiple casinos. With so much. Because you couldn't line up your street with other specializations because they're so big. And they're so pricey here you have specializations that are cheap you have specializations that are small whereas you can really stack your city with casinos 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 so casinos are the way to go uh this trick i have no idea if it was known before i found this out uh and i don't know if you guys have been using it that's awesome but if you haven't been using it use it now and just for a comparison Something like the Statue of Liberty, which I've been using as a comparison just because they're about the same statistics, but obviously different in price. Something like the Statue of Liberty, it's way bigger. It's not going to fit in that small area. Look, you cannot fit it. And frankly, you're not even going to get that much of a boost. So you're getting more of a boost, and you can fit it in less of an area. That's, that's insane. That's insane. Because... It also matters, this statistic that they're not telling you, it matters how big, physically big, that the specialization is. Not just the boost, but how big it is. And as we know, guys, we have limited space. 
and it, it's some as you can see my city right now it's crowded you know i got buildings everywhere and i'm tr i'm struggling to find space right now so i need a safe space and casinos are the way to go we're gonna go buy that casino we're gonna go do that uh really good i really like this you go buy it we're gonna reach 400,000, are we we're gonna reach 400,000. it's amazing it it's amazing we just got an achievement provide gambling services to 125 residential zones hopefully i'm gonna do is my next quest so i'm gonna try to do that but look at this now we reach 400,000 population just because of this this tiny building is contributing the 30 almost 30,000 of my population that's insane if you think about the scope of that that's insane because something like this is like 22,000, whereas you have the casino, this is more. The casino is more, and it's less of an area. You can put more. Frankly, you'll get the better boost. So, let me just leave you guys off with this. When you're buying specializations, obviously, there's always the aesthetic what you want, right? Like, I like the Empire State Building. It makes my city look like New York City. Um, there's many stuff you could do that make your city look cool, and that's cool. You know, keep doing that, you know. You want to be also an artist, a designer, uh, you know, unique what your city looks like. You know, your city just shouldn't be basic. But at the same time, if you're looking for statistics, if you're looking, if you're thinking, if you're looking at a way to quickly boost your population casinos are the way and now you can still be artistic with that you can still design it in a way that you want you know you can uh put casinos different places you can have different casinos you know all those casinos are actually pretty good but i'm just talking about the luxurious casino and the luxurious casino tower those are really the best deals right there um the really the best deals in the game and it's not even like a close it's not even a close comparison as you saw the statue of liberty was three times as much and the area was like four times as much so it's not even a close comparison. So if you're not buying casinos, then you're doing something wrong. But it's okay, because it's not too late to start if you can afford it. Again, price, 10 keys for the luxurious casino, 12 for the luxurious casino tower. Um, those are my picks, and I would recommend buying them. And it's an easy way to instantly boost your population. As you can see already, uh, now I have 43,482 just added from gambling. And I only have these uh, two small casinos. And that's it. That's it will be good for epic gambling projects. will be good because if you guys don't know an epic project is you unlock it at level 24 <laughs> and if you've tried them they're agonizing right they're hard to complete so a good strategy is that with casinos since they're such small of an area and so cheap you can have so many which is contributing to so much epic points um, and then you can complete epic projects way easier. I'd say probably the epic projects for gambling is probably the best way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate if you subscribe. Just hit that button on the bottom right corner. Um, I appreciate uh, if you like the video, uh, comment. Uh, I like to know your opinion. And let's start a conversation. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.